Hello everyone. So it's been a minute. It has been a while since I uh, last sat down and filmed for you guys. Uh, it's been a while since I actually uploaded to YouTube, so I just want to quickly get that out of the way. I took a break in January um, for pretty much half of the month, hence why I haven't really been here. Uh, it's been an interesting start to the year, that's for sure. But yeah, here I am. I'm back. Um, and I miss chatting to you guys, so I thought today I would just do a chatty kind of get ready with me everyday makeup because I've been meaning to update uh, my kind of like everyday makeup at the moment. It's kind of changed quite a bit since my last one, I think. It's more of a wintry everyday makeup, uh, which is basically me just trying to look like I have some kind of colour in my face. There's a few new products that I wanted to chat about as well that I've been really enjoying. Um, so yeah, I have my makeup here. I've kind of been living out of this makeup bag. There's a few like multiples in here, so depending on what I feel like, I reach for one or the other. Um, so yeah, I thought we'd kind of just go through it, chat to you guys and put my makeup on. So let me just uh, throw this up quickly so it doesn't get in my face and annoy me. I can just about manage the world's uh, most ridiculous ponytail at the moment. So um, I'm going to start with primers. There's been two that I've been reaching for recently. La ha 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 of this Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's a primer and a moisturizer in one. I still use moisturizer, obviously. Um, I think I'm going to put this one on today. But um, it is really, really hydrating. My skin's been dry recently. Um, I think it is just winter. I mean, my skin's always dry. <laughs> all year round, there's no stopping it. I kind of use it more just because I like the feel of it on, it is really hydrating and nice. Um, I've also been reaching for the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow at the moment too, if I do look particularly haggard. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep this month, um, as always again, so this is amazing when you've just woken up and you look like very, very grey. Sometimes as well, I will just take a little bit of this and just kind of like pop it on my cheekbones and high points of my face, let's just, just throw it all on now while we're here. So yeah, that one just is a little bit fresher, it has like an iridescence to it, something kind of pearly and brightening. So my base, um, my kind of foundation routine has been made up of a lot of NARS products, still really, really into NARS right now. Especially this, this is the um, Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser, which I had so many years ago. It's something that I've always had and used, but I've been really back into it at the moment. And I actually got the shade Alaska, which is probably a little bit too dark for me, kind of enough to just be able to get away with it looking like I have a little bit more colour, so yeah, I've actually been putting this one on with a brush, this is a Real Techniques, I'm not sure what these are called, it says BO2, it's one of these new blue um, pointy ones, blue pointy ones, very descriptive, but yeah, this is actually synthetic, so it is really good for blending in cream, especially when it comes to tinted moisturisers like this, because I don't know, it just kind of buffs the edges out and it buffs everything in really seamlessly. It kind of really works into your skin. So if you like your products to look like they are just skin, then I think this brush is really good for that. Usually when I take um, some time off and I'm not really on camera, I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but I have to say, I've kind of been reaching for this a lot. If I'm just going out quickly, um, I might just pop this on, curl my lashes and do some brows. And that's kind of like my three simple uh, five seconds to leave kind of makeup. Luckily, my skin has been really good at the moment. Not sure why. So yeah, my skin's not too bad at the moment. I don't need a ton of coverage. So this is kind of just more to give me some color. If I do have a particularly bad kind of like breakout, I feel like I had one on my cheek here earlier in the month, I've been popping on a little bit of the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Uh, let me just show you how this works. It's so pigmented. I would literally do, can you see that? A dot <laughs> this big on my finger and then just kind of put it there. Let's do a little bit on my forehead as well while we're here. And then just kind of like stipple it on and it is so pigmented. It kind of works in the way that I guess you would use a concealer, but it's a lot thinner. Um, and it doesn't go cakey and it's not too matte either. It's kind of quite glowy. So I just use that to top up the coverage in any little areas uh, that I might need it. So sticking with NARS, I've also been using the concealer, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. Um, back to this, just because I feel like it is really, really good coverage. It's maybe a little bit drying, but I kind of don't mind that because at the moment, as you can probably tell, my dark circles are just they're taking over my face. <laughs> they are really not good. So yeah, I've been putting pretty much half a tube of this on every single day. It somehow miraculously manages to be super pigmented but not cakey either, so I really can't do a cakey concealer under my eyes. I just hate it. 
don't like the way it looks or how it feels. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like the most coverage I think I can get away with without it being too heavy and too much. So I also take it um, on my nose where I always get some redness, a little bit on my chin, um, and then just to kind of highlight a bit because it is slightly lighter than the base that I used. So I just kind of leave it in the middle of my face like that. And I'm still using this brush to blend it in. I really enjoy this brush a lot. I haven't reached for a beauty blender or what else do I normally use? The Real Techniques Buffing Brush for ages since I got this. I've literally just been using it for a ton of stuff. So this has been one of my favorite steps as well, bronzing up my skin with the Hourglass um, Ambient Bronzing Powder. This one's in diffused bronze light, kind of looks super gorgeous, really marbled, beautiful product. I really love this stuff. It is quite a pigmented bronzer though, so I've been using it with this Pro Stippling Diffuser Powder Brush from Sephora. I think I mentioned this in another video, but it really is the best brush for bronzer. It kind of blends and diffuses at the same time. It just makes it gone really, really seamlessly. And I, I kind of have a certain way that I like to do this. I put it in my cheek and I angle the brush at kind of like a 45 degree angle. So my cheek almost just sits here. And then the edge, the point of the brush is where the most product is. And it kind of just goes right into my cheekbone to give some structure, just a tiny bit. I kind of use this more for the color than anything. Definitely is the step that makes my skin look a lot healthier um, and a lot warmer. So I'm kind of quite liberal with this. Definitely been feeling the bronzed look, um, pretending it's summer, even though it's not. So same brush I'm gonna do my blusher with as well. I've kind of been into two at the moment. Sometimes I go for NARS Madly, which isn't Gaiety. I know I said it wrong in my last video that I talked about it. Sorry guys. It's either that one or the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Cheek to Cheek Swish and Pop Blusher in Love Glow. These are both quite different actually, so it depends what I'm feeling like. If I fancy something a bit brighter, I go for this one. If I'm feeling a bit more neutral, I will usually pick this. I think I'll do a little bit of Madly today. And hey, why not? Let's just put a little bit of the other one on top too. <laughs> just putting all the products on my face today. I'm still absolutely obsessed with this highlighter as well. This is the NARS Man Ray Double Take um, Highlighter. I've kind of scuffed it a little bit now. I've used it quite a lot, so you can't see how gorgeous it used to be, but it's the perfect champagne peachy tone highlight. And you can put so much of this on and it doesn't get too much. I mean, I'm quite a highlighter wearer as it is, so maybe this would be quite a lot for some people, but you can really build this up and it's never um, gonna look too kind of like day glow disco ball. It's a really kind of soft focus highlight and it just looks very fresh and natural. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep putting this on for a few more minutes. I'm really annoyed about this next thing because I've broken, I say I've broken, one of these is broken again. This is the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. I've been through so many of these, I've probably had maybe 10 in my life, possibly more than that. And only recently they've just started breaking, so I don't have the spoolie anymore, which is frustrating because I have to carry around an extra one with me because we can't do brows without a spoolie, that's for sure. I mean, I'm not gonna stop buying these because I will never love a brow product as much as I love this. Um, but it is frustrating. I don't know if they've changed their packaging or something, but they just don't seem to be as good quality. I broke one um, and then bought another one and this broke within a week of having it. I am a clumsy person, that's for sure. But yeah, I think, uh, I think they're having some packaging issues at the moment, which is a shame. So we're at probably about the year, I wanna say, the year mark of me growing my brows out. I haven't had them touched for, um, I think probably about a year, maybe like late February last year. I have maybe plucked a few strays, maybe like maximum 10 in the last 12 months that I've plucked out 10 little hairs. Um, so yeah, I feel like they've kind of got to a point now where they're not gonna grow anymore, unfortunately. I definitely thought they would fill in a little bit. I could probably look into doing some kind of like brow gel, thing that um, helps them grow. I feel like there's like a revited brow or something like that. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. If you've used something that has actually helped your brows grow back in, I would really be interested in that because it's just kind of under here where I feel like I could do with a little bit more. So this is the main area that I fill in just underneath. I'm even considering maybe getting the microbladed. Again, if you guys have any advice on that or if you've had it done, because I know it's quite popular now. A lot of people have their brows microbladed. So yeah, give me some info guys, <laughs> fill me in. What is the situation with all of that? So brush them through again, and then I'm gonna do 
my boy brow. I've been sticking to clear for this whole month. I haven't really used anything else and I really, really pushed them up. Uh, one thing that I have probably done this year with my brows is just trimmed the tops of them every, maybe like every four or five months, not often. Um, but I've tried to keep those in check because I do like to really push them up. So yeah, they can't be too wild and out of control. Awesome, okay, so eyes. I've been going back into my bronzer a lot and just using this as eyeshadow. So on a fluffy brush, I usually use a Charlotte Tilbury one, but I've lost it. Um, just a fluffy brush like this, and I literally just use the bronzer kind of like in the crease of my eye. I am not the sort of person that can just wear mascara. I would love to, but I do always need something something kind of warm tone here in the crease or my eyes look really puffy so yeah this is just such an easier step than reaching for another eyeshadow um and i also really like this color bronzer in my eyes i think it is a really nice shade to do that with um sometimes as well i will take it underneath to i'll just use a smaller pencil brush and just blend it in under there oh my god guys i'm the biggest <laughs> i'm the biggest idiot i've just been filming for a while and not been recording um <laughs> I think I last did the bronzer in the crease of my eye. So after that, I used one of these. I got another one of the Chanel Ombre Premier eyeshadows, which I'm really excited about. I've already said this all once, but I got another shade. Um, I've been using the darker kind of like chocolatey brown color for a while, the Poupre Profonde, and absolutely loving it. I'm not sure why it took me so long to find um, some more colors, but this one is called Noir Petrol. It's kind of like a charcoal gray. It has a lot of shimmer in it, so it makes it look a little bit lighter, but it is quite dark too. I feel like it's a grayish black. Um, yeah, it's very cool toned, and I've been really into like cool tone shades at the moment. I think because it's winter, I kind of lean more towards the cool tone eyeshadows. So I literally just put a little bit of that in the outer corner of my eye, just like dabbed it on with a finger, and then I blended it out with a fluffy brush. And when I do do that, I also have been using liquid liner, which I just had a real moment with and you guys didn't even get to see that because it wasn't filmed But I have been using this one. It's um, I didn't think I said before it's the bare minerals lash domination ink liner very skinny, pointy, felt tip nib. These are definitely my favorite kind of liners always. It's really black, really liquidy, really easy to use. And yeah, I kind of just do more of a line across my eye quite thin and then a little like a little stubby kind of thing at the end. It's not a wing for sure. It's just kind of keeps going. Right, so lashes next, and these two things I've been obsessed with. I feel like there's a lot of new things that I've been using this month and trying out and discovering, so I'm definitely going to do a January favourites, maybe this week or sometime next week, depending on when this is actually going up. Starting off with lash colours, I have been curling my lashes nearly every single day. Not quite sure who I am or where I found the patience and effort to do that. Um, but yeah, I've been really liking the way my lashes look when they're curled. So let me just let me just get a bit closer before I pull them all out. Um, I've been using this lash curler, which is from Kevin Aquan. I do have the Shurimura one as well, which is kind of, I guess, the more popular one. But honestly, this one was closer um, and the one that I reached for first. So I've been using it and I really like it. I think it's probably just as good, if not maybe a bit better than the Shu Amura one. It's cheaper as well, and um, now that Shu is no longer here in the UK, it's probably easier to get hold of, so I definitely recommend this lash curler for sure. And then mascara, this is a waterproof mascara. Um, I hate waterproof mascara as a rule. I never use it even when I probably should. Um, for some reason I had this one knocking about in my drawer and I thought I would give it a go because I feel like I heard waterproof mascara makes your curl last longer when you curl your lashes. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational um, Lash Multiple Mascara. And I think I've had this before in the normal version and I do really like the brush. It's slightly curved. It has really long bristles on one end and short ones on the other. And I think it's just a combination of having curled lashes, this being really separating as well, and it all just, just working together really nicely. <laughs> so yeah, these two have been my go-to lash um, combo at the moment. I have to say this is definitely not fun to get off. It's not uh, very easy at all. A biphase makeup remover is a must um, or something with oil in it definitely because yeah I do worry that I'm slightly damaging my lashes every time I take it off but I just love the way it looks so I can't really stop myself from using it. And then on to the last things in here, lip products. Um, I always of course carry this around with me, the Glossier um, Coconut Balm.com. Coconut one is 
forever my favourite. It's so good. I've also been really into um, the new shades of the Dior lip glows. Uh, this is the colour Reviver Balm. They're basically um, lip balms that have a bit of pigment to them but also kind of react to your lips so they really stain them and change it. And this one's in Coral. Um, it's called Coral 004 and I really like how it looks underneath lipsticks. Obviously you can kind of see that it does have a colour and a stain, but I'm not really a stain girl. I don't love the way they look most of the time. I like to have a bit more pigment on my lips, so I've been putting that on. They're also really moisturizing too, so they do keep your lips hydrated. So I've been using that one first, and then putting a liquid lipstick on top. This one is one of the soft matte lip creams from NYX. I've had this for so long as well. This is the shade Stockholm. I also feel like I'm kind of done with the really drying, very matte, matte liquid lipsticks. They're just so uncomfortable to wear. I feel like that might be a trend we're leaving um, in 2017. But these ones are definitely more kind of creamy. They're softer and they do stay quite moisturizing while still looking a bit more matte. So I don't know if it's because of the color underneath or it is just the lipstick, but the two together I think make such a nice shade. So let me just take this little thing back down. Hopefully my hair hasn't gone really wild. So that's it, that's my everyday makeup. Um, basically this is what I look like, or have looked like every day this month. My hair is also way shorter than I'm used to it being now, so I kind of don't really know what to do with it. Thank you guys for watching this video, and um, yeah, thank you for sticking around if you've made it this far. I'm so out of practice, I'm sorry, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna film a few more things this week. Like I said, there'll be a favorites video coming your way sometime soon. And if there is anything you guys wanna see me do, cause it's been a while since I really did sit down and film, um, let me know if there's anything you wanna see. I know um, that you guys were really excited about the weekly vlog happening possibly. I'm still having a little think about that at the moment because it's something I really wanna do, but not really sure how that would go down at the moment in terms of me filming. So we'll see. But yeah, if there's anything else you wanna see me chat about, uh, let me know. So I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you all later guys. Bye.